Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. I use Camtasia to make all my videos on teachertrainingvideos.com and I also actually produce videos for quite a lot of organizations, including universities and publishing companies. And what I'm gonna to do today is show you just some of the things that Camtasia can do. And we're gonna focus on the fact that you can mix so many types of media into a Camtasia video. So if you're trying to make an educational video and you wanna bring in a PowerPoint slide, maybe you've presented, recorded yourself presenting in PowerPoint and then you've got some real images that you wanna work with and then maybe you've got some real video that you wanna bring in as well. So you wanna combine all of that media together. Then this video is gonna show you how to do that. One final thing, if you are interested in Camtasia, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a link where you can download and test Camtasia for four weeks for free. Hope you like the video. As always, if you do, please like it, please share it with other teachers, and of course, please comment on it. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do a screen capture video. In other words, I'm gonna use Camtasia to record the screen of my computer, and then I'm gonna combine that with bringing in real video and also images and show you how you can work all three together and edit them on so the So to do timeline. that, I'm gonna click on record here. And it's gonna open up a recorder onto the screen. Don't worry about that, simply because I'm doing a Camtasia of a Camtasia. I'm gonna make the screen size a bit smaller. Now, what am I gonna record behind here? So what I've got is I've got a PowerPoint presentation here and I'm gonna just move the recorder so that it kind of fits nicely around the PowerPoint slide. Notice that I don't have to go full screen. There's really no, no need to do that. The quality will still be excellent, okay? So this is just very quickly, I'm gonna imagine that I need to record a couple of, um, a couple of uh, slides of a PowerPoint slide. So just as an example, click on here. and start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm doing a presentation where I'm gonna talk about the kind of big picture when it comes to teaching online. So I'm gonna click on the uh, pause button. I'm gonna to jump to the second slide, and I'm just gonna carry on now. So I can click on resume. So the key point that I wanna make is that really it's the relationship between what you do in the live sessions and how you effectively use the platform, i.e. Um, Edmodo or Moodle or Schoolology, etc. So let's say that that's my video, okay? I'll keep it really simple. So I'm gonna click on stop and that video will be immediately ready and I can actually play that video back and listen to it. So let's just play that video back and make sure it's okay. And, and today I'm doing a presentation where I'm gonna talk about the kind of big, and let's just move it along. Yeah, that's all working absolutely fine. So I'm now gonna save that video onto my desktop. So I'm gonna click on save as, okay, and put that onto my, so I'm just gonna save that video. We call it uh, video test one, okay. Click on save, so that video is now saved on my desktop. Now what I'm gonna do is open up the video editor. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import in, first of all, that recording that we make. So I'm gonna to go to my desktop, come down, I've got it here, video test one. I'm gonna click on that and that's gonna import that in. But I've also got some real video footage and some images that I wanna use. So I'm gonna also import those. So I'm gonna click on file, go to import, and I can bring in almost any media and work with it. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some real video footage that I wanna work with and I'm just gonna find that. So I've got some video footage here that I'm gonna bring in. So I'm gonna click on open and bring that in. And I'm also gonna bring in some uh, real images. So I'm gonna import again media, come back to some images that I've got. I'll just grab any images just to demonstrate this point. So I'm gonna click on here. I've got some kind of images that I use for promotion work. I'll use those. So I'll just grab a couple of those. Perhaps we'll work with this one and this one. That'll do. So I'm just demonstrating the point here that we can combine all sorts of media together. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is to start to line that media up along the editor window. So 
So let's bring an image onto the screen. So I'm gonna just drag it onto the timeline and it actually is already on there for a certain number of seconds. And if I play that, you'll see that each image is on the screen for five seconds. Okay, but what I can do is I can stretch that. If I want that image to be on for longer, then I can I can stretch it out. Now I'm gonna bring on the video. So I've got some video footage here, okay? So we're gonna go from an image, and just dragging along here, to some video. What I'm gonna do with that video is I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna pull that out and make that, that a little bit bigger on the screen, okay? So we've now got, starting with, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale that right up. Okay, and this one here, what I could do, for example, with this one is I could move that image over to that side if I wanted to. Perhaps it would look quite nice if I then have that image on that side. And I don't have to play the whole video. I can, again, shorten or lengthen the period of time. And then I can bring in, for example, the screen capture video. And I've got that on the screen now. Okay, and again, I can right click and click on scale to fit so that we've got all three things at the maximum side. Now, if I was being really clever, I'd try to get the ratios of the height and the width to be all equal for all three objects. And I would try to make the ratio 16 by nine, because when you do that, that means that when you make it full screen, it fits perfectly into the screen size. But you can see how suddenly I can have three different types of media. So this is one of the powerful things, particularly if you're using Camtasia in education, you wanna use some real footage along with a part of a presentation and then maybe talk over some pictures. And of course you can add your voice to anything as well. So let's imagine I wanna talk over these images here at the beginning, just as an example. I can click on audio, um, sorry, on voice narration. And I'm gonna add my voice, just make sure I've got the right microphone connected. So I'm just gonna click on this one here. I click on start. Hi, my name's Russell Stannard, and today I'm gonna to do a little presentation for you. And I've literally done the thing, I can save that narration. And now that is gonna be included along with that opening part. Let me just play that back to you. Hi, my name's Russell Stannard, and today I'm gonna to do now, of course, once I finished producing all this, and obviously I could put a lovely intro, I could put a lovely outro, if I wanted to kind of make it more professional, I can also add lots of elements onto the screen. So as a quick example, let's say here, I wanted to add uh, something onto the screen and talk, yeah, and talk about this is the blend, for example. This is the blend, that is the, the point where we talk about the blend taking place between the platform and the live session. Then I can augment things on the screen. I do this a lot when I'm making my educational videos. Another thing that I do often is use this one. Let's take another part. Let's say I wanna highlight this. I can do this, this one's lovely because it allows you to kind of draw around the screen and uh, I can use this again to, to highlight. I'm gonna talk about the kind of big picture when it comes to teaching online. One other feature I'm gonna show you that I love, and just really quickly do this as a, as a last time. If I wanna focus in on a particular aspect, it's not particularly interested in this first part of the presentation, but let's just say I wanna bring this closer. I can come over to here, click on animations, and I can move the screen. In fact, I've done it too much there, sorry. I can move the screen to to kind of get it to come closer in, okay? And then that will actually animate. So let me just show you that. So we've got the video here, and if I play it now, you effectively use the platform, i.e. Okay, so I can I can bring, I can focus in on things. I haven't really done that enough, actually. I should have perhaps done that more, but you get the idea. And th there are tons and tons of things that you can do with a Camtasia video. You know, they've got great m library, so you can even have these professional intros and outros and add your own music, etc. So. Camtasia is really good for making professional type educational videos. Now, if you come over to teachertrainingvideos.com and click on the Camtasia section, then you'll see there's loads of free Camtasia videos and they're really worth looking at. They cover many of the different functions in Camtasia. But also, if you click on the ad here, then you can actually download and test Camtasia for four weeks. And if you wanna buy Camtasia from my website, you can. That does mean I will get a small commission. The discount that I'm offering is absolutely fantastic 
However, it is a requirement that you are in education, i.e. working in an educational institute. And you will need to fill in a form to prove to TechSmith Camtasia that you are actually working in education. But if you are, you can get a fantastic discount and the cost of Camtasia is only £155. Well, I say only, it's not cheap, but compared to the normal price, that's a great reduction. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you do and you like more free videos, then please sign up to the newsletter. That way you get updated with all the latest courses and blogs and webinars and the new videos. Of course, you can follow me on my YouTube channel. And I think there's more than 60,000 people now. And if you are looking for training, then please as well from the website, you can contact me. Uh, obviously doing a lot of training in Camtasia and Zoom and Moodle, etc. And thank you very much.